Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stanzi and welcome to today's video. So today's video is a try on Tuesday video and rather than just go to one store, I went to a few stores and I tried on jackets that were out there. So jackets and coats and I think I have like one kind of like a long cardigan type thing in there as well. Now what I actually noticed was there was more cardigans. So maybe I should have made it like a cardigan video because there was a lot of those around but they kind of all looked very similar and when I went shopping, well I wasn't shopping, I was doing a try on a couple of weeks ago, I feel like I saw so many jackets and then this time when I was going out there wasn't as many as I thought there was in terms of like variety. However, as you guys know, the cold the weather is upon us well maybe not upon all of us but upon some of us and it's pretty much going to be jacket season now a lot of you guys are probably returned to work where you perhaps work somewhere where you want to dress up a little bit so I've got a bit of a range of jackets from casual to a little bit dressy and I thought I'll show you guys what's out there also being a plus-size person myself I wanted to share with you guys what fit me now I'm generally a size 22 regular size and as I've said in the past I can range anywhere between like an 18 to a 24 it really depends on if the item has stretch or not and also what I've noticed is it does depend on the way I want something to fit me now as I said I did go to a bunch of stores and the way I'm going to do this video today is I'm going to start off from the cheapest item to the most expensive item that way you can kind of gauge your way through kind of I guess also the quality of the items and then compare as we go up along to the more expensive items so before we start if you like videos like this fashion videos beauty videos vlogs and you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button below hit that bell for notifications because You'd want to be a part of the Stancy Star family. I do quite a few videos a week and come and join. All right, let's get started with the first jacket. Now, my first stop was, of course, Kmart because Kmart, I figured, would be probably the most inexpensive shop for stuff like jackets. Whilst I know Kmart quality is not the best, sometimes when we want something like more of like on fashion, on trend. Kmart's great for that because it's kind of season in, season out. Sometimes you can actually hold on to stuff. I do have things from Kmart from a couple of years. So some things last the, t what's the saying? Last the terms of time, last the, yeah, I can't remember it. <laughs> The first jacket that I spotted was one in the straight section and I grabbed the bigger size which was a size 20. Now this jacket didn't have any stretch to it but I was like you know what let's see if it goes. And I put it on, it did, I could get it on, I felt like it was too small for me if I wanted to like if I desperately loved it I could definitely wear it. Especially open, it still fit. There was a little bit of tightness you know in this sort of shoulder area I guess what is that the back area maybe probably because of the arms. However surprisingly enough it fit. This jacket had pockets, bonus, it had the button and it also had just in the like wrist here section a little stripey so therefore you could just turn it in and on the cuff section you can see the little stripe which I actually really like so if you did the you know how it's fashionable to kind of roll up the jackets you'll see that little stripe and that was really good for quite an inexpensive like Kmart jacket I thought well done. However material was really really thin, very creasy, one of those that you probably would like have to iron it out and just I don't know I feel like it wouldn't sit as great because it's so thin but like you know if you kind of want something inexpensive the cam the camel color was really nice especially for winter and that one retailed for $30. Next up still at Kmart I tried on this denim jacket it was really lovely now I tried on a size 24 in the plus section had lots of stretch to it it fit really really well. I also love that kind of that denim blue beautiful this one I really really liked. I could button it, it had pockets, I really liked it and that one retails for $30 and I feel like that's a great one to get. Next up I have another denim jacket and this one is from Big W. Now this one was a darker denim, I feel like the darker denim is really nice for an evening look like if you pair it with the dress, beautiful. This one had stretch to it. It didn't have any pockets on the side and it actually was thin but it wasn't a horrible thin. It was like a thin that kind of molds to your body and fits really nicely. I really really liked that one. That one retails for $35. Also at Big W, I grabbed this cardigan because I kind of, there wasn't much to choose from in Big W. So it was like this pinky browny tone cardigan and it sat really, really nicely. 
I tried it on in a size 22. It was very comfortable. It will great over jeans or tights. Highly recommend. That one would definitely keep you warm. It's nice and soft. It's comfortable. Like regardless, you could size up or down with that. And because it has a stretch to it, it would fit you. And that one retails for $35. Next up, back to Kmart. Now, this jacket, now it's one of those puffy jackets, like, you know, the soccer mom type jacket. And I was so pleasantly surprised at how this jacket looked. Now, you guys have seen the big puffer ones where we think, you know, if you're a plus size person, you feel like it makes you look even chunkier. This was like that thin puffer. And the best, best thing about this jacket was on the inner bit, it had like a stretchy string thing that you could pull the little majiggies and your waist comes in so therefore like you don't look as puffy you look a little bit more outlined because you can pull it in at the waist and I absolutely love that now I tried it on in a size 22 I zipped it all the way up you had a hoodie the hoodie wasn't detachable but I don't think that matters because I love having a hoodie on there it was beautiful the length was lovely it had pockets I mean I just absolutely love that one. That one retails for $38. So for what I've seen in other more expensive stores, that's like $138. And this came out one for $38. Like you would get so much wear out of it, especially like if it's cold outside, which I think this winter it's going to be cold. So if you're a soccer mom, highly recommend. Now next up, also from Kmart, I saw this Sherpa looking, I don't know if it was like a jacket, shirt, shacket type, cardigan type thing. And I was like, okay, that falls in the jacket section. Now when I usually see Sherpa, I always think, oh, I'm going to look like a sheep. I'm just going to look, it's not going to suit me at all. This was in a straight section, so I tried on in a size 20. And it looked so lovely. It was a beautiful blush pink. And I absolutely loved how it had that like rounded front uh, and just came up on the sides it kind of made it look that extra bit trendier if that's the word that i want to use it looks really good i love the little pockets up here which i never use pockets if they're up here mainly because i'm bigger chested and i feel like i don't need the extra bulk there but i like the look of them there there was stretch to it so i think that's why the 20 fit me was comfortable i could drop the buttons if i wanted to and it was so warm i really really like this um, i was very pleasantly surprised this time around with kma but that one i recommend i really thought it was cute and that one retails for 40 dollars Next up, I tried this jacket from Regatta Curve, which is in Maya. I tried it on in a size 24. Now, it was one of those, the like long jackets. It's one of those that's like a classical style that if you buy it, you'll wear it for years to come. The quality was really quite nice. The hoodie was also not detachable. And it looked like it was one of those that was going to be rainproof as well, because it just was kind of, you could tell by the fabric on the outside, it was actually very warm. It was nice and long. You could zip it up. It had pockets it was really quite lovely and i think it fit me really well price wise that one was 119.95 next up i tried on a taquito curve jacket now this is more one of those i feel like a worky type jacket i really like tweed i love the look of it but i like tweed with a little bit of color this one was black with a bit of white and i feel like it was a little bit more mature looking not something that i'll personally wear and i think the main reason is because of the button it didn't have a button it just had a little you know the little clasp that you get at the back of your bra was like one of those and that was all that was holding the jacket together and I felt like for the price of the jacket I thought that they could have put a little bit more effort into that now a lot of people do like to wear their jackets open and therefore that wouldn't have bothered them but I don't mind buttoning mine up from time to time the fit was really good I did try it on in a size 22 that was my size it fit me very well I like that it was like that shorter length it was something like a suit I guess rather than wearing like the one color suits I feel like the two tone is in now where you don't actually especially for like job interviews you don't need to wear like a suit these days you can wear something that just looks nice and put together and this is one of those jackets that would look lovely on like a black dress if you're going for an interview if you go for a meeting or something it still would actually look lovely but i still would rather have a button <laughs> That one retails for $129.95. Next up, this denim jacket at City Chic, which I feel like has been around year after year. Now, I don't know if it's the same one it's there or they just like refresh it every year, but I really, really love it. And mainly because it's a denim jacket and the sleeves are like tracksuit pants material which is so comfortable because as we all know a lot of us do like denim jackets I do too and even with the stretch they still are a little bit fitted and therefore I feel like 
it's not as comfortable you know like you can't really drive it i feel like i'd have to take it off and you can't move your arms around too too easily because even with the stretch it's still a jacket but this one because the sleeves are loose and it's just that softness it just sits so well i absolutely love it now i tried it on in a size extra large and i feel like that size worked really well i probably could have even sized down it also has a hoodie which matches the sleeves and i absolutely love it that one retails for $129.95 oh hello did you just open the door yourself? <laughs> Next up, also at City Chic, I tried on this leather jacket. Now, I do love a leather jacket or a faux leather jacket. I feel like it's just something that can elevate any look. So you could either like dress up a dress or you could dress down an outfit, depending on how you want it to look. I just feel like, especially for winter, it just looks so good. And it's just so specific, you know. It's like I feel like it's not something you'd wear in summer, but it just works so, so well for winter and just makes any outfit look good. Now, I tried it on in the extra large. That size worked well for me. I could zip it all the way. I liked it. It looked really good. And it is in a style that is timeless that you could wear year after year after year. So if you were to invest in something like this, you would get your wear out of it. Especially if you're someone who likes to wear some of your summer stuff in winter. The leather jacket works so well over those, especially if you're wearing like a bright color or even florals. A leather jacket would look so good. So this one... And especially if you're plus size like me, is a pretty decent one. That one retails for $159.95. Next up, I tried on a Levi's denim jacket. Now, this was in Maya. Not, I don't think all the Maya stores stock it, and some do. Uh, and actually, it's good to see that they do have a little bit of a plus size. Now, their plus size is that like 1x, 2x, 3x. So it's not the best because I feel like that's quite limited in plus. But nevertheless, at least there is something out there that we could try. Especially if you wanted something more, a little bit more like name brandy. Now I tried on the jacket in a 3X and it was very denim jackety if that's the word that I want to use. I feel like it was quite the old school denim with the thicker denim. I like that color of the blue. I feel like the Kmart one was very kind of faded looking. This one is like a traditional blue denim jacket that would go with like your denim jeans and probably one that will last you a while. Levi's does make good quality. So this is something that you can wash and wear. It won't fade and I'm sure it will keep its size as well. Lengthwise, I didn't particularly like the length. I'm someone who likes something a little bit more cropped. That's why I like the City Chick one because it does come a little bit cropped and that's just, just the kind of style that I like. So it's not something that I would purchase. Now that one retails for $159.95. Next up, still in Maya, I tried on the Basque Curve, this lovely green coat. Now, coats are something that I feel like are very timeless. They're in year after year and you could just wear them. You could keep it for like 10 plus years, especially if it's a good quality coat. Now, I tried on this coat in a size 22. Now, whilst the design is timeless, I don't feel that the color is. Now, I do really like this olive green. I think it's lovely, but I'm not sure if the olive green is a timeless color, like black, for example. If you had a black coat, that one will last you forever and you'd probably more reach for it. I tried it on and the length was really nice and long and it was like, it looked double breasted but you only had to do one button and what it looked like was you could do the one button on this side on one side or you could do the button on the other side so it kind of varied which side you want to put it on fabric was really nice and it was actually made really well you could see it was good quality made well something that's going to last price wise 179.95 something that you are looking at in that higher end especially of some of those brands in Maya now the next two items are the same value and from the same place and a little bit more more higher price wise now they were both from the common room over at David Jones now their sizing only goes to a 22 so I tried the items in a 22 but I feel like it is a generous 22 so if you are a 24 you would definitely fit into the 22 Hello. <laughs> we had a slight interruption there's a little stray kitten that likes to come and I've seen him so many times the other cats kind of push him away and they don't let him be part of the club so I don't know if he belongs to someone so I went out and put a bit of some cat biscuits I know I'm one of those people I can't, every time I see like an animal in distress I want to do something about it so I gave him a few cat biscuits so it felt so bad because I was like I didn't like how they were singling him out or her I don't know what it is and the poor thing just it kind of cries a lot throughout the night and makes chippy bark so I'm holding on to chippy so he doesn't bark it away now the first jacket I tried on was this gray and white striped jacket now it's not something I personally would buy it's 
not the look that I would go for, but I thought I would try it on anyway. The size fit me great. I could do the button. I, I feel like fit-wise, it fit well, and you could see it was pretty decent quality. It was also that double-breasted style, which, you know, stands is just... I don't like it. I feel like it doesn't suit me, so it's definitely not a me jacket. I just feel like I'm just not a stripy kind of person in that way. Horizontal stripes, I feel a little clowny in something, so... Not my taste, but if you were looking for something like that, you know, feel free to check that out. I'm not sure if Commonry has sales. I haven't come across one yet, but I'm sure they probably do, as that one retails for $299.95. And lastly, I tried on another jacket from Commonry, and this one was also in a size 22. I liked this one a lot better. I like the kind of plaid looking fabric, and I felt like it was one that was a little bit more winter looking, and just something that you could wear. I feel like it's with pants. Like I feel like these kind of plaid sort of style work really, really well with pants or with jeans. This would look really nice nice with jeans. I liked how we had the one button. The size fit me really good. You could tell it was good quality. The inside had really nice lining. It sat really well. So definitely good, a good quality jacket. The pockets, as with the other one, they are there. They're just sewn up as you would when you get a suit, like from a more higher end store. The pockets are kind of tapered in a little bit and you just get a little bit of an unpicker and you open them up and then you're good to go. And that one was okay. Not in my price budget, but if you're looking for something like that, go check it out. That one also retails for $2.99.95. And that is everything that I tried on in this jacket try-on session. Now, my favourite was probably the, as I said, the City Chic uh, jacket that had the, like, what I call it, like tracksuit material sleeves because it is one that I really do want. I also am partial to like a leather jacket. I like that as well. And I really liked the Sherpa from Kmart. Like that really surprised me. The look, It looked really, really good, especially because I was wearing jeans and I thought the whole outfit looked really good. Comment down below and let me know if you have any of the items that I tried on or what was your favourite from all the stuff that I tried on. I hope you enjoyed all the things that I tried on today. Comment down below and let me know if you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy this video, also please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you soon.